Chris 6 News at 6 continues. And welcome back. Economic experts tell us that much needs to be improved in order to bring quality businesses and educated professionals to the coastal bend. Tonight, as we continue our special series of reports looking at where do we go from here, Emily Hamilton examines some of the things that determine quality of life here in South Texas. Lee, overall quality of life here in Corpus Christi is often damaged by our city's lack of employment opportunities and the shortage of companies choosing to locate in Corpus Christi. Whether you're looking to move to a city long term or just planning to visit, the first question asked is often, what's there to do there? Aside from our obvious advantage of living near the beach, there are several other factors that determine quality of life. Education, sports, arts and culture, and recreational activities. We know that for many years we had the winter Texans and, and people coming to, to stay for a few months. Well, um, these are people that are looking for different places, different things, adventure, and we have it all. However, local economic experts say companies frequently hit a wall when trying to recruit professionals to South Texas. You know, one of the challenges we have as any mid-sized community is that when you recruit a company and they, they've got a, a job for a spouse, their, their spouse may not be able to find an appropriate job as well. It's just, the, it's just the nature of any market of our size. Representatives from the Convention and Visitors Bureau have even gone to the lengths of traveling out of the country in hopes of convincing people to plant roots in Corpus Christi. Just last year, they flew to Canada for a recruitment trip. And the reason why we want to go there last year, they um, have over half a million people visiting Texas and we want them to come to Corpus Christi. When people do move here, they typically have questions about the lack of large franchises and few places to shop. You know, we get asked folks all the time, is there a Costco there? Is there, is there a Trader Joe's and things like that? And those are the things that may not be obvious economic development things, but they go into our overall quality of life. With limited shopping available, La Palmera Mall is one of few places that stays current with up and coming chain businesses. Dave and Buster's is scheduled to open there in December. Ian Vasey and his team of economic experts are working to make the job search for potential residents easier and our city more marketable. You know, one of the things we've been working on is, and we're launching, is jobsincorpuschristi.com, which uh, it has specialist uh, um, search engine for local jobs. Currently, there are hundreds of local jobs listed on that site. Teresa Rodriguez says despite all these efforts, ultimately the best way to attract people to the coastal bend is by word of mouth. So when people come, they visit us, they see all the great things that we have, the hospitality of, of our people, the ho great hotels that we have, they go back home, they tell their family, they tell their friends, and they come here. And another common concern expressed by families looking to move here is the state ratings of our area public schools. Lee. 